A near capacity house was here to let council know that they as concerned citizens felt that it was past time for council to take a leadership role in the heated issue of busing. Members representing the NAACP, the Norfolk Coalition for Quality Public Education and Tidewater Fair Housing all spoke for continued busing. They felt that the school board was leaning toward reverting back to neighborhood schools, or in their words, segregated schools. But they realize that council has no direct and total control. They are responsible for the life and health and welfare of the city. And we feel that the issue that has been raised by the school board these past 17 months really does threaten the economic and welfare of the city. King presented council his coalition study of Norfolk addition, schools and asked that it be evaluated. Meanwhile, James Ellis felt that taxpayers had been cheated by paying for David Arbor's study, which took an anti-busing stance. Taxpayers of Norfolk should be outraged that we wound up paying $60,000 for a study that essentially contained what we believe in the fair housing movement is erroneous, misleading. Only the Reverend Joseph Green would comment on the concern pleas by citizens on the busing issue. Mayor Vincent Thomas, as well as Green, though, did say they would review all information presented to council. But Thomas added that at this time, council has no authority over the school board. In Norfolk, Eric Reynolds, The Daily News.